Welcome to another week here at Tutorial We are going to finish the flooring of the loft. Um, we have done the main floor, but we haven't done around the perimeter of the room. So first, before we can start get started, we have to get all that area cleaned out, remove all the insulation. Here's the mess that we took out of the walls. Up there where the rafters are. There's also three or four buckets that I already cleaned out with the vacuum. I had to empty out. So I don't understand <clears throat> why people would leave this stuff in their walls and just put, fix up the plaster and clean up. It's just. All of this stuff, as soon as you have an air conditioning unit in your house, um, it's gonna seep through the walls and you're gonna breathe it in. So I just don't understand why people don't clean up the house before they put it back together. crazy the amount of rot and insulation that I have taken out of just the rafter area. This doesn't include any of the walls or anything. This is just on the rafters. So three full of these buckets, uh, large, I don't know how many gallon, 32 gallon buckets, 121 liter buckets. So obviously I have some small pieces of wood and rot in there, but I actually have another whole pile of small wood that I've taken out and then the rest is just insulation and deteriorated wood. So I'm glad that we did this. This really shows that it was the right thing to open everything up. We found a few leakages in, in the walls, in the ceiling, in the roof. So it's really good to do these problems right now when everything is in a construction mode instead of in 10 years when we live here and then suddenly I have to tear a room apart just because I have some water damage in the in the roof area. So now that we have it all cleaned out, we are going to prep all the rafters, uh, all the joists 
up here we take all the screws and nails out that are still in it and then we're going to lay some flooring across the sides here too. So I'm not using glue on the sides here because nobody's gonna walk on it so it doesn't need the extra strength and the glue is also a big help for the creaking sounds that you would have on floors often especially old floors so I am not gonna glue it over here because it's really not necessary So this is one of the joists that is old. I didn't change it. You can see here it has about a inch of overlap on this guy. So I got to plane this down a little bit before I can actually put the floor here. I think this is much better. I got a small little hump, but almost not uh, almost not noticeable. So I think this will be fine.
even though it might not be a lot of progress to show this week that we had we have just doing a little bit of perimeter flooring and cleaning out the rafter tail ends um, I feel like it for me personally it was a big step forward because this means this room is gonna be complete for rough framing and everything as soon as we put this wall up wall uh, the wall is coming up next week we're gonna put that up and finishing this room completely so we can move on to the next project I am really excited obviously temperatures have cool, have been cooling down a little bit with the fall now and it's not as hot as it was for example last week up here but still it is still uh, cool up here so I am just looking forward to working on another project so one more week a wall and we can move on to the next room Well, I think this is it for this week. I see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.